Folks, Jesus and the church that you're involved in, it's not some little thing you do on Sunday. It's everything. And you know how God's going to make it everything? Because I know Americans aren't going to turn. Apart from a revival, we're not going to repent. So this is how God's going to make it everything to you. The same way He made it everything to the Peruvian believers. He brought the communists in down there in Peru and they killed 23,000 people. And they wiped out so many churches and killed so many of my brothers and sisters in Christ. And we were terrified. We had our building bombed. We had machine gun fire going everywhere in the service. We were threatened with our own lives. We hid out in the back of grain trucks so that they would not get us. And when church meant something when those people came together. Church wasn't some little thing you do in order to be a proper southern person. Church was your life. You did everything to get there. You didn't want to go home because there was nowhere to go. Why? Because you stood eight hours a day just to get a bag of rice. Well, it's going to happen here. It's going to happen. Mark it down. God so loves His church, He will shred her to pieces to make her beautiful. Because what she thinks is beautiful, her gold and her garments and her eye salve, He hates. He hates it. He goes on. He says this, Because you say I am rich, And I have become wealthy and have need of nothing. And you do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Do you honestly think they said they were rich? In their own hearts, I believe. They were going to church. I mean, they would have never walked in there because, you know, when you go to church, you've got to put on your church face and your church talk and everything else. No one probably walked in, unless they were charismatic, none of them walked in there saying, I'm rich! But they thought it in their heart. You see, remember what he said? I know your deeds. I know your thoughts. And this is what he says. Now look at this. Never forget this. What is beautiful to the world and what is beautiful to carnal people who profess Christianity is filth and rot to Jesus Christ. The temple scene there in Matthew is going to happen here in America. Pastors and the elders and the leaders of the church are going to be walking there with Jesus. Jesus, look at this building. I tell you that there's coming a time when not one stone of this building is going to be set upon another stone. Because I told you a long time ago, they worship not in this mountain, those who worship me, or in that mountain, but the true worshipers of God worship Him in spirit and in truth. And I'll not tolerate this anymore. Look what he says. He says, Because you say I am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing. Now, how does that happen? It happens to all of us. You know, I was telling the pastor the other day, it wasn't hard to serve Jesus Christ in Peru. It wasn't hard to serve Jesus Christ living in a tent. It wasn't hard to serve Jesus Christ when persecution was breaking out on the church. It was hard to serve Jesus Christ when I got off the plane in Miami. Heard two Russian guys years ago and now these, these guys, when they were teenagers, watched the KGB come in their church building, put their pastor against a wall, pull out his tongue and cut his tongue out for preaching the gospel. And yet those two men stood in our church and said, the hardest thing we have ever had to do was be Christians in America. And someone said, how can you say that? And this was the answer of one of them. Because there's no jacuzzis in Russia. Life is not easy there. 
There's no prosperity. There's nothing. All you have is Jesus. Folks, poverty and persecution never harmed the church of Jesus Christ. Affluence and ease. Affluence and ease of life. 